Okay, we're looking at transformations here, um, and I've done one of each type of transformation essentially here. Okay, so reflect the shape in the x-axis, call it A. So the x-axis obviously where we said x here. Okay, so I'm two away. Here we go. So there you go. That's shape A for you. Okay, now they might have said uh, the x equals four line. Now the x equals four line is down here. Okay. They might have said reflect in the y equals 6 line. y equals 6 is there. Okay, so just be aware of that sort of thing. All right, um, uh, it's just equations of lines. I'm going to rub those out because they'll be in the way for future um, parts of this question. Right, so here we go. Uh, blue. Rotate shape, uh, the shape 90 degrees anticlockwise about center 0, 3. Call it B. So 0, 3 is here. Okay, and I'm going to rotate that, all right, uh, round anti-clockwise. Now, you can use a bit of tracing paper. I would, so essentially, here's your tracing paper. Do an arrow on it, okay? It's going to look something like that. And then turn it. I know how far I've turned. That's why the arrow exists there. So that should go to here. Okay, just checking I've got that right. Um uh, yes, uh, yes, that's good, right, fine. So that's B. All right, bit of tracing paper sorted. Now, green, translate the shape, minus 5, minus 7. So I'm going to pick a point. There's a point, and it's going to go minus 5, so that's 5 to the left and 7 down. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's that point. Now every point has moved that far. So translation essentially I've got the same shape but just in a different place. That's shape C. Okay. Now then, last one. Uh, and I need to go to gold for this. So enlarge the shape by scale factor two, center one zero, call it D. So one zero is here. Now, not only is the shape going to get twice as big, that's the scale factor 2, it's going to get twice as far away from the centre. So, if I look at this point again, the one I, same one I translated, at the moment it's 2 along and 2 up from the centre. Okay, so if I'm going to double that, it's got to become 4 along, 4 up. Okay, so that point's got to go there. Now, from that point, everything gets twice as big. Now, it's going to overlap. Okay, but that's fine. So it should look like that. Now every point right, on the enlarged shape is twice as far away from the centre as where it started. Okay, so the from the equivalent point on the original shape. Okay, so just be a little bit careful uh, with that. It's it's easier to use vectors, actually. There's other videos about using vectors to help with enlargement. Essentially, if I've gone two along, two up there, it's gone four along, four up there. This has gone two up to get to there, so I've gone four up to get to there. And then to get up to this last one here, um, it was, it had gone five up, so it's now gone ten up. All right, from the center. So you're always counting from the center, all right? You've got four different types of transformation there, all right? All pretty straightforward.